I will be giving you guys a last minute Halloween costume idea that I just like thought of. Before we get on to the video, I'm looking like a wreck. School was canceled today, so <laughs> we all know I didn't do nothing. So It's the day before Halloween and we all know there's those procrastinators out there that don't have a costume. Me, I had a costume, but it required a wig and wigs don't really go over this, okay? I came up with a free, a free, free costume idea that you can do in under 30 minutes. Now this will work for any type of animal. The one I will be creating is a hippo. Hey you guys. Depending on which animal you are doing uh, will differ the color clothes that you have to wear. So a hippo is gray for the most part. I'm going to be wearing gray shoes, my gray vans that I already have. How perfect is that? Pants. I have these gray, like, jegging things that I've had for, like, over almost a year now, and I've worn them once. So, breaking these bad boys out. Gray sweatshirt. This one says weekend outfit. I'm not going to wear this one because this one's a little bit too thin. I'm going to wear one of my mom's. She has, like, a plain gray, like, champion sweatshirt that's pretty thick because Halloween is going to be a bit chilly this year. Now, this probably looks like a kindergartner did it, and it probably looks like it took five minutes. Uh, it took a little bit longer than that. I only thought of making this video about halfway through. when I was like almost done with the mask, basically. But, so I recorded some making the mask, other parts I didn't record, so I have to explain that to you guys really quick. The thing I did, um, you look up on Google like, any type of animal mask that you want to do. If you wanted to do like an elephant, you could look up elephant mask. So I found a nice template. Oh. Yeah, when you look up the mask put template at the end, it will get like more coloring things like this basically. If you guys are doing a hippo, I will, I will insert a picture of it right here. Then what I did is I resized it to my paper to get it as big as possible because I got a big melt. You're going to print that out and I suggest printing it out on photo paper, um, but not on the like glossy side. Like as you guys can see, this is like the glossy side. I suggest printing it out on the matte side and photo paper because it is thicker. Print that out and then just cut out the outer edges of it. And then, uh, depending on which animal you have, just cut out the eyeballs. This mask was really simple to cut out. All I did was take a razor blade, mark an X in it, and then cut the rest out with scissors. And I did that for both eyes. You have airflow coming all behind it, so I'm not. I didn't cut out a hole to breathe through. I colored in these like circle things. On the comes like as a darker gray. I colored the nostrils with a black sharpie just to make it like a darker and better look. I did the ears, like I cut it out. So like you guys can see that that's like the ear shape that I went for for a hippo. You know, again, it just depends on which animal you have. Also, I cut out like with uh, pink construction paper, like the inner part of the ear to just give it like that more like I put time into this, if you know what I mean. Then I colored the whole hippo. Um, with just a gray colored pencil, honestly. And then I went like that, and then I glued the pink to the ears, and then the ears to the mask. Now, you're like, how the hell are you gonna get this to stay on your face? I'm going to take like a piece of yarn or elastic, and I'm going to fasten it on to the back. I have just not got around to doing it yet, and I just wanted to get this video out for you guys so you could do it last minute Halloween ideas. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, guys, Thank you guys all for watching. See you guys next time. Bing. This is Kiana and you're watching Disney Channel.